Happy birthday, Pokemon! It is officially Pokemon's birthday week. This Saturday on the 27th is Pokemon's 25th anniversary. And before then, at some point, we are bound to hear this. Welcome to the Pokemon Direct. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. So, we don't know exactly what day the Direct's going to be on yet, or what we're going to be getting, obviously. But with Pokemon Day being on Saturday, and them not usually running Directs on Saturdays, we can probably predict that we're going to get a Direct sometime this week, because there's always going to be a Pokemon Direct around Pokemon Day. You, almost always. Um, so, there's so many rumors and speculations and theories running around right now, and we are going to get into all of that. But before we do, I want to say thank you so much, guys, for all the support for this channel every single day. If you are new here, welcome to the beacon. Um, I love you guys so much, man. If you do comment on the video, let me know what you want to see for Pokemon Day. And let me know what you're most excited about and what day you think we might get the direct on. So we're going to start, guys, by breaking down what day we're probably going to be getting this direct on this year. <laughs> Pokemon being 25 years old this year is such a huge milestone, and this franchise has left such an indelible mark in my life and the lives of so many people around the world. And when a new Direct is announced, it creates so much hype, and it brings the whole community together in a way that nothing else does. So if we look at the past, guys, uh, it, it'll kind of tell us what day we can probably expect the Direct to be on for, for this week. It's got to be before Saturday, because Saturday is the 27th, which is Pokemon Day. Um, Pokemon really never holds directs on the weekend. So my guess would be we might get a direct on the 25th, which is Thursday for, you know, 25th anniversary, 25th of February. I think it fits really well. But in 2016, we got a direct on a, on a Friday when we had a Pokemon Day on a Saturday. So it was one day before. And then in 2019 and 2020, we had Wednesday directs. So we don't exactly know what day they're going to pick. But we do probably know that they're going to have the Direct announced one day ahead of time. Um, Post Malone's concert is going to be on Saturday no matter what. We could even get a Saturday Direct this year and they could throw a major curveball at us, but we don't really know. So last week, Centro Pokemon Leaks posted on their Twitter, you won't have to wait until Pokemon Day for the news that you seek, with a gif of Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina. So normally I would say, take it with a grain of salt. But I honestly trust Centro more than anybody else on the internet when it comes to Pokemon leaks. They've almost never been wrong about a single thing they've ever posted on their Twitter. Like, they're very credible. They get they have very, very good sources. And I think this should be something that we should definitely uh, not take with a grain of salt. So I think Wednesday or Thursday is probably the most likely days we're going to be getting the Pokemon Direct. So last week after the Nintendo Direct, there seemed to be a little bit of disappointment in the air when that a shred of new information for Pokemon was announced. I think they're just saving so much for this coming week when they have the Direct. Like, we could be seeing Pokemon Sleep News, Pokemon Snap News, Pokemon Detective Pikachu News, uh, Pokemon Unite News, or a potential uh, release date. I do know that the beta for Unite, for Pokemon Unite, was just announced for Canada. So I don't think there is going to be like an actual release date for that game like anytime soon. Um, we can have potential ports of old Pokemon games or like a collection set of games like uh, Red, Blue, uh, Gold, Silver, Ruby, Sapphire, um, Pokemon Home News, uh, like new movies or shows, like potentially a new anniversary Switch, like a Pokemon 25th anniversary Switch, um, new accessories like a new Pokeball Plus or something like that. Um, Definitely new games that haven't been announced yet for this year that we could potentially be getting that no one's heard of yet for like later on this year. Definitely. So this is where it gets really interesting. Like, will we be getting Pokemon Generation 9? Will it be Let's Go Johto? Or will it be what most people are kind of leaning towards, which is the Pokemon Generation 4 remakes that I really want myself personally? Um, we're going to get a little bit into that, guys. But I do think Pokemon Generation 4 will be what we're getting later on this year, as do most people, but there, there's been uh, more from Centro in terms of like why I believe it will be uh, Generation 4. <laughs> so ever since the Crown Tundra, there have been so many leaks and rumors and speculations about Pokemon, because everybody wants to know what is next for this franchise. Um, if you guys don't know who Kelios is, Kelios, in my opinion, is the most credible leaker in all of Twitter. Um, I think everybody, there's a lot of people that are respected in the community that would probably agree with me. And right after the Crown Tundra, which this was in, um, I think this was right after November. He said, you're going to have your remake next November. Stop complaining. 
and you will say, oh my gosh, Pokemon, this is the best license. So if you, if you notice, he didn't come out and say like, we're getting like Diamond and Pearl remakes, but like he did insinuate like what other remake could we really get? Like, obviously we could get like Gen 5, but why would they skip Gen 4? Um, so that's probably one of the most notable things about like any leak that's come out recently is that's pretty important. And this one was by Eclipse. So Eclipse straight up came out and tweeted out on January 15th, said, Psst, the Generation 4 remakes will be released on November 19th, 2021. Spread the word. I don't know what Eclipse knows. I don't know how, like, I, I definitely respect Eclipse a lot. Like, I, I follow his Twitter and I'm always up, up to date with what he's tweeting about. Um, if this is true, like, this will be insane and definitely solidify him as being like a, a leaker, I guess, you know, about information. So, um, that is very interesting too. I, I, I don't know if I believe it hundred percent, but I, I just don't know why somebody, somebody would like tweet that out if they weren't a hundred percent sure. All right, guys. And this is more of what Centro Pokemon has tweeted out recently. So Centro said, we haven't been able to verify the following with our additional source. So take this with a grain of salt, but here it goes. No Pokemon collection is planned for this year, which means multiple games in one package. So like gens one, two, and three all in one game. And if this doesn't happen, I will be kind of sad because I was really looking forward to having a way to play like all three of those games on my Switch because I can't really stream those games like without an emulator, obviously. Um, and that I just there'd be so many fun ways to do like to stream like an old like, you know, fire red, leaf green or just regular red and blue, whatever they decided to put on Switch. Um, I hope this is not true, but at the same time, like I do trust Centro and if they're willing to tweet this out, I think it definitely has some sort of merit. And they also said, um, there's going to be an Arceus episode. And if there's going to be an Arceus episode, like it almost certainly has to be for generation four because Arceus and Sinnoh are like synonymous with each other. Like Arceus is a Sinnoh Pokemon. So that is a really interesting take on it. I guess we're going to go through one more rumor that was posted this morning on 4chan and we'll see exactly what they say and we'll compare it with, like with what we just went over. All right, so this was posted on 4chan as of late last night and we all know that 4chan is the most credible place to get information for Pokemon. So let's just see what it says. It says Pokemon Sleep will be coming after the Direct, which initially strikes me as odd because I'm pretty sure to use Pokemon Sleep, you might have to have like a physical device, which I don't know how they could drop that right after the after the direct without having that, unless like maybe your phone could substitute that somehow. I don't really know. Um, and then it says we'll get, we're gonna get a Pokemon Unite trailer, which is probably possible. If they said release date, like or like an actual like uh, drop right after the direct, I probably wouldn't believe it because. The, uh, the beta just dropped in Canada like last week and I don't see it coming out that soon. And then it says Pokemon Classics, the Game Boy Collection is coming in June. So red, gold, ruby, or green, silver, sapphire. I like how they have green and not blue in this because I feel like a lot of people would probably go green because obviously like they never played um, green in America. Then it says um, Pokemon Classics, the DS collection is coming in November, which would be Diamond, Black, and Black 2, and then Pearl, White, and then White 2. I think this could be really cool because I never played Black or Black 2 or White or White 2 besides a little bit on the channel like a month ago or two months ago. But I, I do want to start playing Black and Black 2 again, and I would love to do it on this channel if I got to play it right on my Switch too. So that sounds pretty awesome. Like, but I... I am pretty um, adamant that we are getting the Generation 4 remakes in, in November. And they, they definitely would not release a game like, you know, Diamond, Black, and Black 2 if we're getting the Gen 4 remakes. Um, but it does say that the Let's Go sequel teaser with no official date will be announced. So maybe they're trying to say that, like, we're going to get Let's Go in 2022. Or, or yeah, 2022. But I think this is Pokemon's 25th anniversary, and there's no way we are not getting like a mainline game. <laughs> so although that'd be really interesting, I don't see like most of that coming true. If I, the collection series, like the three games in one, I'm all for it. But like, I would just say, you know, gens one through three would be absolutely fine for me. I'd be so happy with that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Happy birthday to Pokemon. And this is going to be such a big week, guys, for the channel. 
we are going to stream the direct whatever day it's on here and we're going to go live extra early for it so um if you guys want to watch it with me we're going to do it right here on the channel i love you guys so much thank you so much for every bit of support you uh anybody ever shows the channel or ever, ever has um we are live later on today as well guys i'll be in our discord uh, a lot later on today so um if you guys do comment let me know what you want to see for pokemon day 2021 and pokemon's 25th anniversary um i'll talk to all you guys very soon stay happy stay healthy stay hydrated stay awesome there's so many big things to come for this channel and i love you guys so much <laughs> so thank you very very much everybody <laughs>